Hey there, welcome to Strip Characters from a Python String. My name's Joseph, and I'll be your explainer of things for this video course. Pretty much every Python developer has to handle and process strings. And because strings can be used to represent virtually any kind of textual data, they're incredibly versatile. But with that versatility comes the potential for awkward formatting, unnecessary white space, or just plain messy text. This is part of the reason why Python includes literally dozens of string methods, many of which can be used to clean up a string or have it fit a desired format. This course is all about the specific collection of methods you can use to remove characters or sequences of characters from both ends of a string. They're super useful for handling any kind of user inputs, standardizing data for inputting into a database, cleaning up text collected via web scraping, and so on. In this course, you'll learn how to remove whitespace or specific characters from strings with strip, how to decide when to use strip, lstrip, or rstrip, how to use remove prefix and remove suffix to remove sequences of characters, how to apply string methods to real-world use cases, and how to avoid common mistakes made when using strip. To get the most out of this course, you only really need to be familiar with some Python basics, strings and characters, built-in Python data types, and functions and methods. If you feel like you need a refresher on strings, you can check out strings and character data in Python. It's quite a long tutorial, but the basics are covered by the first few sections. All right, join me in the next lesson where we'll explore the strip method. The strip method of strings can be used to remove leading and trailing characters from an existing string. The syntax is as follows. Clean string equals the result of calling original string dot strip with an optional chars argument. Chars should be a string of individual characters to be stripped. The outermost leading and trailing characters found in chars are removed until a character not found in chars is encountered. The default value for chars is none, and when chars is none, all white space characters are stripped instead. These are characters like spaces, tabs, and new lines, among others. And it's important to note that the string methods we explore in this course return new strings and do not modify or mutate existing strings in place. Open up the REPL to look at some examples. Start by defining a string with some extra spaces on both ends called original string. Original string equals space, 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 hello earth, space, space, space. Since calling strip with no arguments will get rid of white space, go ahead and call it on original string. And the output is hello earth with all the extra spaces on both ends gone. Pretty straightforward. For a more complex example, create a multi-line string using triple quotes called text. Text equals backslash n, space, backslash t, another space, the truth is out there, and an empty line, and a bunch more spaces, another backslash t, and even more spaces. By the way, backslash n and backslash t are the escape characters for a new line and a tab, respectively. Try calling text.strip. And all the white space is gone. All that's left is the truth is out there. You often see this kind of extra white space when you're reading from a text file or scraping text from websites. OK, how about targeting a specific character? Create a string called review with the contents, this show is incredible, and three exclamation marks. Call review.strip, passing in a string with a single exclamation mark, and see. This show is incredible. All three instances of the exclamation mark have been stripped from the end of the string. Strip can also be used to remove multiple characters from both ends of a string. So what if the review were in Spanish instead? Review equals three inverted exclamation marks, esta serie es increíble, and three exclamation marks. Call review.strip, passing in a string with both an inverted and a regular exclamation mark. The result is a much less enthusiastic, esta serie es increíble. And to you native Spanish speakers out there, I apologize for my accent. Okay, for a final example, how about cleaning up extra characters on a user's chosen username? Username equals underscore exclamation mark, couple more underscores, cs underscore man, and some more exclamation marks and underscores thrown in at the end. You can clean this up by calling username.strip and passing in a string with an exclamation mark and an underscore in any order. Username.strip, exclamation underscore. 
The result is CS underscore man. And note how the single underscore remains. Because it's separated from the ends of the string by characters not included in your call to strip, it won't be removed. That's pretty useful, right? But what if you only wanted to remove characters from the start or the end of a string and not both? Find out how in the next lesson.